Welcome my tribe. Thank you for joining me once again here on Navigating the Universe with me, Lisi. pins out and your journal and your agendas so that we can notate what is going on for April 23rd through the 30th. We have the sun in Taurus. What does that mean for us at this time during this week? We can find ourselves definitely in a more receptive energy and more methodical, definitely calculating. Calculating your decisions, calculating your steps on what to do moving forward. What is your next steps? A lot of us are gonna be graduating if you are in school, high school students, we have universities, graduation time is coming up. So definitely that more methodical instead of being spontaneous and it's you're, you're definitely more focused on your next moves and your determination and security are coming through through in the forefront um, for us this week so definitely um, realizing what your needs are uh, for the longevity for the long term so it's not the right here and the right now it's not um, instant gratification it's definitely definitely looking long term and uh, also the sun and Taurus brings out our more sensual side combined with Venus in Aries this week as well which is focused on more self-care aspect when was the last time that you went to get your nails done get your hair done um, a massage for the guys get pampered get your haircuts go to the barber when was the last time that you pampered yourself so this would be a great week with all the energies and where the planets are to go and do that as well. This is a perfect time with the moon in Capricorn to not waste your time. You need to be more structured and planning for your future. Take a look at your achievements and also the things that you want to manifest from this point on. It is crucial that you take the time and plan, plan, plan. Do not waste this time, this energy that's going on with the moon in Capricorn. It is time to look at your career, look at your businesses, your practical investments. This is the time to focus on those aspects in your life this week. I'm going to list off, I do have in my previous video, that message. I will leave the link below so that you can check it out and see what the message carries over for this week. So for the last week's videos, you're going to check out Mercury in Aries, Venus in Aries, Mars in Gemini, Jupiter in Sagittarius, Saturn in Capricorn, Uranus in Taurus, Neptune and Pisces, Pluto and Capricorn. So the link is below. Go check out the other video for the messages for those planets. All right, my tribe, let's see what this week's energy has for us. We got, look at this beautiful card. And it reads, it's a serpent of fire. Do not Assess your current abilities based on your past standards as they no longer apply to you. You are stronger and more powerful now than you have ever been. You need to learn afresh what you are capable of and Isis helps you now. That is the serpent of fire. Isn't that beautiful? definitely right on point for this week with the energies as a collective saying that we have to be more structured and planning for the future and look at upon our achievements that we have made thus far and actually planning for the future with a different mindset for the future and 
not based on our limitations of how we used to be in the past because we are no longer that person anymore and it's who are you stepping into the new now and what does that person need manifested and what um, achievements and what moving forward coming into the new like blossoming like a lotus what is it can, that you can expect from yourself you know so do not limit yourself because of your lack of in the past or your um, abilities that no longer exist now and I would like to leave you with an affirmation a daily healing affirmation it says you are an I use this higher aspect of yourself to redeem your shadow aspects with these two cards I mean they're right on point they go hand in hand and it's telling us that the old version of ourselves is not who we bring into the future so that new person the higher self has different standards different expectations so you can no longer base yourself on your past limitations but definitely moving forward and setting a new bar and using what you have learned to tackle your shadow self no one is perfect we're always are going to have flaws but it's the way that we tackle them with our new gained knowledge our renewed self and in our in in our hearts and in as a collective in our universe that we are all in it's definitely moving the vibration higher thank you so much my tribe for joining me this week i hope this helped you along your week for april 23rd through the 30th and blessed be Thank you.